Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the updated version of the Valleys Executor. As you might remember, I recently did a video on the Valleys 1.0 version, which pretty much didn't have much on it. It didn't have the script box. It also didn't come with script execution which I was made aware by some of the users and all of those issues have now been fixed. So as always, make sure you watch the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps and let's get right into it. So as you guys might know, you will need an emulator to use the executor. So there will be two emulators linked down in the description. One of them being the Moomoo emulator, which I'm using in this video, and the second one being the BlueStacks emulator. Now it's completely up to you which one you want to use. I personally recommend the Moomoo emulator. It seems to be a little bit more smoother. So once you do have your emulator downloaded, simply go ahead and drag and drop the Valleys Executor that you can download from the description onto your emulator. So you can do this with the BlueStacks emulator as well. It's exactly the same steps. And once you do that, it will download Roblox for you. So once you have done that, simply go into the Roblox application and it will ask you to log in at this point if you haven't logged in already. All right, here we go. Once you're on the login screen, simply go ahead and click on login and log into your account. Once you have logged in, this is the screen that you'll be taken to. At this point, you can now load into any game of your choice. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. We just loaded into the game. Now, if it is your first time using Valleys, it will ask you to generate a key. So the key steps are really simple. There will be a little page that will say get link and just get the link. Take it back into your browser, paste the link in and just follow the steps and you'll be able to generate the key that way. Once you have entered your key and you click continue, this is the screen that you will see. Now, as you can see, these features were previously disabled, but they have gone ahead and enabled those now. So you do have an FPS unlocker, which you can enable just by clicking over here. And if you go down to this section right here, you will also be able to search for any script of your choice. And of course, if you come over here, this is where you can paste any script in and you can click execute code. And that will go ahead and execute the script, which it didn't previously do. So I wasn't aware of that, but they have gone ahead and enabled that now. So you can now execute any scripts and that's pretty much it. So you will be able to use any scripts now. Let me go ahead and try another script and see if that also works. Now to make it full screen, you can simply go ahead and click F11 and that will take you into full screen. And to go out of full screen, you simply press F11 again and that will go ahead and remove the full screen. All right, so I've got another script here. Let me go ahead and paste the script in, click execute, and this should give me magnetic wheels for this game. So let's go ahead and see if I've got magnetic wheels. I should change up my cart to a smaller cart so we can see the actual magnetic wheels. So let me go ahead and try that. And there we go. So you can see the magnetic wheels right here. And what pretty much that does is if you know anything about this game, if you're usually going full speed, it will throw you off the tracks. But as you can see with the magnetic wheels, it sticks me to the tracks and it does not throw me off. Now, as you can see, it does currently say that the product is in beta, so they have just released it. They will be making many more updates. They will be fixing a lot more issues with the executor. But despite it being in beta, it does seem to have flawless execution. It seems to be working perfectly fine. So it will only improve from this point on. Now, if you are struggling with the executor or if you have any other questions, you can join my Discord server down in the description and you will be able to get in touch with me there. And with that being said, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.